Welcome to our session on providing disaster recovery for ROSA clusters. I'm Patrick Übele, technical marketing engineer with Red Hat, and I'm... Luis Enrico, uh, technical business development manager at NetApp. Very nice to meet you all. And I give you a quick introduction to Astra Control, and Luis will present the interesting bit, a quick demo on how to protect ROSA clusters with Astra Control. Astra Control is a multi-cloud service fully managed by NetApp. Um, it provides um, application data protection for your um, rest, uh, data full application, Kubernetes applications, so you can have disaster recovery and application portability and um, possibility to migrate your applications to other clusters, other clouds. It uh, supports most of the Kubernetes distributions, uh, including OpenShift and Rosa, of course. And how does it work from a high level? So the Astra Control Service um, will discover all the namespaces <coughs> and applications in your uh, managed um, OpenShift clusters in that case. If you trigger a backup of a defined application, Astra Control uh, can, ma can, ma can make use of execution hooks to freeze your application, so stopping the I.O. for a short moment. Um, then it will back up the application configuration and its metadata to Astra Control's um, internal database. In the next step, it will initiate snapshots of the uh, persistent volumes that host your, your persistent data. So these can be backed by either NetApp storage or the hyperscalers persistent storage. Um, so the snapshot operation is quick. Once the snapshot is done, um, Astra Control will unfreeze the, the application, so it will resume normal operation. And then, in the background, it will start um, copying the data to external object storage. Once you have both the snapshot and the external object storage in place, you can either restore your application from snapshot, if you do it to the same cluster, or should you have a disaster, like your cluster has been wiped out for whatever reason, or you want to migrate the application to another cluster or even a different cloud, you can restore the application from the um, external backup hosted on object storage. And with that, the Thank interesting you, bits. Thank you, Patrick. Um, so uh, I dare to do a, a demo, and we have only six minutes for the demo, so I will try to uh, speak very fast. So. <laughs> Uh, it's a recorded demo, okay, and uh, we are. This is our demo environment. So uh, here we are. What we are doing is protecting and providing disaster recovery for Rosa cluster, but this can be done also for OpenSieve anywhere, okay? So let's uh, start the demo and see if this is working. Um, not sure. Okay. Yes. So the demo uh, is using one Rosa cluster uh, called Rosa Main in the Ireland region, and we also use a uh, uh, DR Rosa cluster in the North Virginia region. So uh, we have a PostgreSQL namespace to to be protected, a stateful application. Uh, this is using some PVC. And Astra Control Service is a managed service in the public cloud, so it connects to these two ROSA clusters, use the kubeconfig, and, and, uh, and is just using Kubernetes APIs, okay? So then um, we need, and um, sorry, uh, I'm going too fast here. So we need also an object store to store our war backups, so all the backups are stored externally. Uh, uh, so if, even if the entire cluster uh, goes down, we can uh, still recover things. And we are doing these backups, as Patrick explained, using CSI snaps. So, so Astra Control Servers will do a snapshot, do a backup from the snapshot, and restore uh, and restore it in the in the new. Uh, uh, Rosa DR cluster. So we can show now uh, how this Rosa cluster is in the um, in the um, in the uh, AWS console. Okay, and you will see the instances belonging to the Rosa cluster, the Rosa main cluster in the Ireland region, and also the instances belonging to the Rosa DR cluster in the North Virginia region. Okay. Uh, we will also show the, the OpenSIF console. So here it is. You have the, the Rosa main uh, instances. Uh, I hope the, the size is well for you to see. And if we switch to North Virginia, you will see the, the instances of the Rosa DR cluster running in North Virginia in, in, in that uh, AWS region. We have also the Red Hat OpenSIF uh, console. So it's Rosa. We are running version 
4.12. This is the ROSA main cluster. We have also the web console for OpenC for the ROSA DR. And if we go back to the ROSA main cluster, we can see that we have this deployment and this pod running. Okay, it's a deployment config using PostgreSQL. And we have also uh, the persistent volume claim for, for that deployment config, okay? All of this is captured in the Astra Control Service uh, web console, okay? In this case, we are using uh, EBS, okay? And this is the, the, the Astra Control Service uh, web console, okay? So here, this is the dashboard. When you enter your credentials, you can see in the account that uh, I'm using my own account and I can provide credentials to enter the main hyperscalers and I'm also using cube configs to access the ROSA main and ROSA DR. We have this buckets section, so we need obviously the storage to do the backups, to store the backups. I, I have a bunch of buckets to be used as the destination of our backups. And we have also the two clusters, the ROSA main cluster that is already registered for data protection in the Astra control service and the ROSA DR cluster. So as you can see, they are running 125, that is 4.12. If we go to the cluster, the ROSA main, you can see the bunch of the namespaces and including the Postgres one, and here we have some information about the worker nodes and the control plane nodes in this ROSA cluster, okay? Uh, if we go to the applications, we are already protecting our Postgres SQL uh, uh, stateful application. It's a deployment config. If we go inside the Postgres SQL, you can see that we have uh, snapshots and backups for this application. And we are doing daily uh, backups because we, because we have a configuration, a configura protection policy. We are doing backups at 9 a.m. Uh, every morning, and we have doing we are doing snapshots uh, every hour at the 30th minute of the hour. Okay, so everything is scheduled. So we have a protection policy, and it's taking care of protecting the PostgreSQL application for us. And all these snapshots are CSI snapshots. We can see the PVC that we are protecting through with CSI snapshots, but above all, all the Kubernetes resources, all the metadata that we are protecting every time we do a snapshot, every time we do a backup, okay? So we are saving off all these custom resource, all the config map, the secrets, the deployment config definition, the service account. Uh, so almost everything that is related to the PostgreSQL, to this namespace, we are saving it outside uh, every time we do a backup. So just to do a disaster recovery is as easy as going to the actions button and just clicking, we, have, we can do a snapshot, backup, clone, and just clicking restore. And uh, there is this wizard, you can restore to the original namespace, you can restore to new namespaces. When you select restore to new namespaces, you can select the destination cluster of the, um, uh, that you want, where you want to restore to. And I have selected the ROSADR cluster. We can change the name of the destination namespace for the PostgreSQL database. So I'm using PostgreSQL DR. Okay, I just click next. And then you can see, uh, you can select from which uh, a snapshot or backup we want to do the restore, okay? So in this case, I'm using the latest backup available to do my disaster recovery, okay? And then you just have to check the summary and click restore, okay? So uh, going uh, to the terminal window behind the scenes, you can see that um, uh, here in the top window, we have the uh, ROSA main, uh, you know, cluster, okay? And uh, uh, we have this deployment config in the PostgreSQL uh, project namespace, okay? With the PVC and everything. And, and in the bottom window, we have our uh, disaster recovery cluster. These are the open shift, uh, um, the, the projects and namespaces that we have. So if, if we search Again, for the namespaces in the disaster recovery, you can check that uh, there is a new namespace called PostgreSQL DR that it was just created 25 seconds ago. And if we go inside and see what is happening inside this, um, uh, oh, this project, this namespace, we can see that uh, the PostgreSQL is getting restored okay, um, uh, from, the, from the S3 bucket. Okay? So you can see there are the PVC that is already created and, and a restore uh, job that is uh, happening at the, at the same time. If we wait a, 
a couple of, of minutes, we will see that the, the restore is completely done, okay? So it's not important to see uh, how much time is taking or not the, the, the disaster recovery process. The, the important thing is how easy is to do uh, a disaster recovery using this tool, no? So it's next, 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 so even my cat can do a disaster recovery of an OpenSIF application uh, uh, with Astra Control Service, okay? So, and, and that's all, okay? So this is the demo. Uh, if Sorry if we have no time. If you have any question, uh, we can, uh, we are available at lunch, and, and, and thank you very much for listening. Uh, sorry. For a live demo, come to our booth. We can show it. Oh, <laughs> thank you.